Chemistry e-learning by Fatima Convent High School. Mrs. Deepali, your teacher and creator of this content, will guide you throughout your chemistry journey. Hello everyone, myself Dipali. Today we are going to start the first session for class 9th, chapter 1, Matter in our Surrounding. So let us walk through the journey together and have the knowledge of this chapter. Objectives for this chapter are what is our surrounding the surrounding around us is made up of matter and we are going to understand what matter is we are going to see the classification of matter according to different philosophies matter as particle form characteristics of these particles which makes up the matter concepts of atoms and molecules in short as this topic of atoms and molecules we are going to study in detail in further two chapters chapter 3 and chapter 4 five states of matter properties of the above five states of matter effects of temperature and pressure in interconversion of states of matter interconversion is changing of one state of matter into another state of matter Various units of temperature and its conversion based on numericals. Evaporation and factors affecting evaporation. The learning format for the chapter will be various terminologies related to chapters, concept of the topic in detail, activities to understand this topic in practical manner and its practical application numericals to understand the conversion of various units of temperature and we will be testing your skills by the question exercise so let us move forward To begin with, let us perform an activity as a warm-up exercise to start with the lesson. So children, quickly grab a paper and a pen to note down few things. List 10 things around you in 30 seconds. This is your activity and your time starts now. Yes, so it 
Now let us guess what you all must have written. It could be a book, pen, mobile phone, sofa set and much more. So did you all see so many things are around you? When you are inside the house, outside the house, wherever you go and all these things that are present in our surrounding makes up our surrounding and this surrounding things or material is made up of matter. This is our chapter all about. So let's begin. Our surrounding. So now, can you all tell me what is our surrounding? Yes. So our surrounding is anything which is around us. The environment around us is our surrounding. And what is this surrounding made up of? This surrounding is made up of material like sand, stones, water and trees, air, food, everything around us is material. The scientists who are very curious to know what this surrounding is made up of termed these materials and substances as matter. So the air we breathe, the food we eat, stones, clouds, stars, plants and animals, even a small drop of water and a particle of sand, everything around us is matter. The whole universe is made up of matter. And scientifically defining this word matter says any material that occupies space and has mass and volume is called matter. First, what is mass and volume? You all are very much familiar with the word weight. Whenever someone asks you, what is your weight? You always give out some number. But that is actually not your weight. That is your mass. If I would say that a student of mine weighs 35 kgs, it means the mass or the matter present in his body is 35 kilograms. If I take a log of wood and I weigh it on the weight balance and it is say 2 kgs, then that log of wood contains about 2 kgs of matter in it. So what is the difference between weight and mass? Weight is mass and gravitational effect on that object makes weight. But mass is the only content or the amount of matter present in that object or material. So you can define mass as the measure of the amount of matter present in any material or object is called its mass and its SI unit is kilograms. There are several common units which you must have heard about is milligram, centigram, decigram, etc. Now let us see what is volume. Now the object around us which are hollow can have substances filled in it. The capacity of any material to hold the number of particles is called its volume. So suppose if I take an example of a glass 
and I fill it with water and the glass can hold 250 ml of water then the capacity of the glass is of 250 ml and the volume of water in the glass is 250 ml. So the quantity of any particle which an object can hold is called its volume. The SI unit of volume is cubic meter or meter cube and the other units related to volume are liters, milliliters, centimeter cube, decimeter cube, etc. Now, is nothing but the quantity or the material which occupies space and has volume is called matter. Now let us understand the classification of this matter according to different philosophies. We know the human nature is always curious. We want to keep exploring the whys that comes in our mind when we see something. Why like this way? What must it be made up of? Or how it must be? So scientists in ancient time also were curious to know what this matter is made up of or what this matter is. And on the basis of their exploration and observation, they found out that matter is made up of certain particles and they classified this matter into five elements. The scientists all over the world, the Indian scientist, the Greek scientist, everyone around the world gave an old idea or the ancient philosophy of matter being made up of panch tattva. This panch tattva is a Sanskrit word. Panch means five and tattva means elements. So they classified matter into air, earth, fire, sky and water. You know the Sanskrit or Gujarati word for air. Air is vayu, earth, prithvi, fire, agni, sky, akash, water, jal. Similarly, Greek scientists like Emphidocile and Aristotle gave a similar kind of philosophy saying that matter is air, earth, fire, sky and water. We also are very much familiar with a concept or you must have heard around that our body is made up of these Panch Mahabhut. So they classified matter into five tattvas. But the modern scientists had, had more technology to explore this matter and they classified matter on the basis of their physical properties and chemical properties into various forms. According to physical properties, they classified matter into condensed, solid state, liquid state, gaseous state and plasma state. Now first let us understand the word physical property and chemical property. Physical property is nothing but some physical appearance or physical characteristics of the material. The physical characteristics are its shape, size, color, form, etc. So matter was classified on the basis of these properties 
into five states. Yes, I know. You all are thinking. Up till now, you have studied only three states of matter. Then from where did this two states of matter come? But we are going to study all these five states of matter and their characteristics and conversion in detail in this chapter. Now what are chemical properties? Chemical properties are the characteristics of what the atoms or molecules the substance is made up of. The chemical properties are the characteristics of what this matter actually is. According to that, the matter was classified into elements, compounds and mixture. Elements is substances which are made up of one type of atoms. Compounds are substances made up of two or more different atoms bonded together and have lost their own individual identities to form a new substance. Mixture Two or more different atoms together are joined without any bonds or are put together and hold their own identities are called mixtures. We are going to study about these three elements compounds and mixture in detail in chapter 2. So we are going to now study the physical properties and the different states of matter further in this chapter. To summarize today's lecture, we just go through the definitions we studied in this chapter till now. Surrounding The environment around us is our surrounding. Matter Any material that occupies space and has mass and volume is called matter. Mass The measure of amount of matter or particle present in any material or object is called its mass. Don't forget mass and weight are two different things. So now whenever someone asks what is your weight, you are going to correct them and say that it's not my weight, it is my mass. Volume, the capacity of any material to hold the number of particles is called its volume. The SI unit of volume is cubic meter. Thank you for today.